Hello all, today we are going to discuss a new topic named water management. First of all, we have to know what is water management. Water is one of the most important inputs essential for the production of crops. Plants need it continuously during their life and in huge quantities. It profoundly influences photosynthesis, respiration and absorption and translocation and utilization of minerals, nutrients, etc. Soil needs the application of water too. Remove stress conditions, release nutrients in the soil solution for absorption by plants, leach or wash out injurious salts from the soil. Water is helpful for wash out the injurious soils from the soil. Next, preparation of land for raising crops to maintain the temperatures and humidity of soil microclimate and the activity of soil microbes at optimum level. For the normal aeration and functioning of roots and shoots of the plants, excess water creates unworkable soil conditions. And irrigation. What is irrigation? Irrigation is the process of applying controlled amounts of water to plants at needed intervals. Otherwise, the artificial application of water to the plants in the event of shortage of natural rains in order to obtain rapid growth and increased yields. In this water management, we have to know when to irrigate. When to irrigate means the time when a plant needs irrigation can only be judged by a keen observer eye. The plants need water when their new leaves begin to show a wetting appearance. A little before the trees show the sign of wilting. The shedding of broad leaves in orchard shows distress symptoms. How much to irrigate? We have to know, right? How much to irrigate? The amount varies with soil type, but a good guide is to apply no more than 1 inch of water every time, which is enough to soak the soil to between 6 and to 10 inches. Between 6 to 10 inches. Now we are coming to know the system of irrigation. Observe this tree diagram carefully because in this tree diagram we can know the classes and subclasses etc. First of all, main part is irrigation. In that irrigation we have we have four types surface irrigation, subsurface irrigation, overhead or aerial irrigation, drip or trinkle irrigation. This surface irrigation we have four types that is subclasses flooding, basin type, furrow system, and ring type. Subsurface irrigation we have three methods the trench method through underground pipe pipelines, perforated pipelines. Overhead or aerial irrigation, we have two, sprinkler or revolving nozzles. This drip or trinkle irrigation is very simple and we have no subclass. Now we are going to study about surface irrigation and subclasses in surface irrigation. Yeah. First of all, surface irrigation. In this surface irrigation, surface irrigation is where water is uploaded or applied and distributed over the soil surface by gravity. It's known as surface irrigation. This has been practiced in many areas 
virtually unchanged for thousands of years. In this surface irrigation, we are studying number one.